We do move on now to our other major headline, the pandemic and the sweeping new mandates set to take effect. Many businesses, local governments and schools now requiring vaccines, including the nation's largest public school system in New York City, where if teachers can't show proof of at least one shot by tomorrow, they can't come to work. This as the U.S. surpasses yet another painful milestone, more than 700,000 lives lost to COVID-19. But there is some encouraging news. Cases, hospitalizations and deaths appear to be slowing. And tonight what the CDC and Dr. Fauci are saying about holiday gatherings. ABC's Phil Lipoff with the story here in New York. Tonight, new vaccine mandates across the country set to go into effect. In New York City, the nation's largest school district, any teacher who does not have at least one shot by tomorrow will be out of a job. I felt shocked, surprised, heartbroken. My students messaged me Friday. I am not allowed to talk to them, even though I gave them a heads up that this is it. And while there remains opposition, the overwhelming majority, at least 93% of teachers have had at least one shot, well above the national average. I cannot imagine giving up my 24 year career because I didn't get a vaccine because we do not have enough space for the schools to fully social distance and this would be safer for all of us. The city saying it has an army of vaccinated substitutes ready to step in and it's not just New York. Connecticut's mandate for state employees set to take effect Monday night. The National Guard on standby to fill in any critical shortages. And in California, the governor becoming the first in the nation to mandate the shot for all public school students once the FDA approves the vaccine for each age group. I do like that it's, F it's after FDA approval, but I also feel like it should be the family's choice. I'm grateful, yes, because I would hate for one of my, my babies to come home with it. An FDA advisory panel expected to discuss authorization for Pfizer's vaccine for kids age 5 to 11, possibly later this month. And drug maker Merck planning to ask for authorization of its antiviral pill that it says could cut the risk of COVID-related hospitalizations and deaths in half. While Dr. Anthony Fauci called the pill extremely important, he stresses no pill is a substitute for the vaccine. The easiest way to stay out of the hospital and not die is don't get infected. Phil Lipoff back with us here in New York. And Phil, the CDC is out with some holiday guidance for the fall season. And today, Dr. Fauci also weighing in on whether it will be safe for families to gather. He did, which specifically Dr. Fauci said it's too soon to tell if families will be able to gather safely this holiday season. As you mentioned, the CDC out with its holiday guidance as well, recommending you be fully vaccinated in order to travel, urging those who are not vaccinated to wear a mask indoors. Whit. Phil, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.